the meditation of exchanging self with others. Please sit in a dignified posture with your spine straight or if you feel the need to have some cushions behind your back to give you some support then make yourself comfortable in that way. You want to have your feet on a firm flat surface and just set aside around 10 minutes for this beautiful meditation practice. Closing your eyes or taking your gaze downwards, take a moment just to be in this room, in this moment. Noticing what you can feel under your hips, under your feet. Noticing what you feel behind your back. Being aware of the space all around your body and the space above you. Perhaps taking a moment to notice the sounds that you can hear around you. Perhaps you'll be aware of the sounds that are around me. The sounds perhaps of distant traffic or birds singing. Maybe even the ticking of a clock. Just pausing and letting yourself settle into this moment, the here and the now. Making a conscious choice to leave behind you everything that happened before we arrived in this meditation. And any sense of anything that may or may not happen at the end of the meditation. Giving yourself just a few moments to become fully here. In your mind's eye, visualize a person that you know. And it could be somebody you have some small difficulty with. Maybe a challenge of personality. Maybe they irritate you in some small way. Their actions, their personal beliefs, the way they handle themselves in some way rubs you up the wrong way. Begin with somebody and something that's quite small and not too challenging. It could be somebody you know well or somebody further away from you, outside of your immediate circle. Visualize that being in your mind's eye. And visualize and have a sense within your own body what it feels like as you become aware of how they wind you up or push your buttons. Notice it without judging it. Don't cut up, get caught up in a story or any kind of judgment around why they are the way they are. Just notice how it shows up for you in your experience and in your awareness. Maybe you have a sense of heat arising within you or a tightness in your chest or your belly. Or maybe you start rerunning old experiences and memories. Or things you wishes that you had said in the past. And now imagine it were possible for you to step inside this being, this person. And to see the world through their eyes. And experience the world in the way they experience it. To notice how they feel. 
how they react, what they're holding, their limiting beliefs and fears, their concerns and anxieties. And if you don't know what those things are, you could just acknowledge that I don't know what this person's carrying. I don't know their true burden, their true fears, their true worries and anxieties. I don't know all of the many, many things that happened to this person. I don't know what their family was like, what their childhood experiences were. I don't know what their wishes were or are. I don't know the health burdens they perhaps have to manage. I don't fully understand the physical, emotional and mental challenges that they live with day by day. I don't understand fully their financial situation. I don't understand fully their hurts and their fears and their sadnesses. Allow yourself to imagine all of the 10,000 things that made this person who they are. The story of their life until this point. All the things that may or may not have happened that you have no true, full understanding of. But now standing in their shoes, experiencing the world through their eyes, looking and feeling everything through the filter that is their awareness and understanding. Just letting yourself feel what it's like to be there from their point of view rather than your own point of view. Whether it be that they never had the opportunity to develop resilience they've always had it easy and they don't know how to put themselves in others' points of view, others' shoes. Or maybe they've had many challenges and they don't know how to be open and loving. There are many different reasons why being is the way they are. Just allow yourself to open up to being in that mind and in that body right now and allow your heart to fill with deep compassion and love to accept them as they are fully in this moment to let go of the need to judge them and desire them to be anything other than they are now and if your mind is challenged by this. Acknowledge that that's your experience in this moment and return to a sense of compassion and kindness for the suffering of others. Holding the wish in your heart that they could experience peace. That they could experience an awakening in their heart and mind to firstly love and care for themselves and to see all things as they are truly hold your mind gently and kindly on this being sending them love and compassion and the wish for them to be at peace
And of course, very naturally, your mind will resist this practice at times. Perhaps you'll find yourself thinking or feeling they don't deserve your kindness or your love or your understanding. But just taking a moment to remember that in this practice you heal your own mind and your own mind expands and lets go of judgment as we begin to open to see all beings as equal. All beings simply showing up as a result of all their previous experiences. And by doing this practice, our mind and heart is healed and nurtured and expanded. For a few moments longer, simply settling into deep understanding of the 10,000 things that went before this moment. The whole story of that being's life, all the many layers and experiences that created this being, many, many of which we have no understanding or concept of. And of course your mind will be distracted by sound and sensation and thought, and that's fine. Simply return your awareness back to sending love and compassion, to extending and widening your awareness and letting go of any arising judgment. Now stepping back into the experience of being in your own mind, looking at this person through your own eyes, having stepped into their body for just a little while. Seeing them through new eyes, from a wider perspective, rather than just the one action or actions that may have irritated you. Seeing them as a whole being with their own story. Noting how that feels now, is it different? Is it the same? Noting how you feel. And sending compassion and kindness to yourself in this moment. For however that meditation felt to you. If it was challenging or heartwarming or maybe you're aware of your heart resisting in some way. Just noting what was true for you. And remembering you can return to this meditation at any time you find yourself challenged by the actions of another being and thereby soothing and nourishing your own mind and heart at the same time. Building deeper connections to the wider community and each other. So just taking a few slow breaths in and out through your nose. Being aware of the sensation of the breath in the body, wherever it shows up for you. gently relax the concentration to widen your awareness to your seat, your feet on the floor, your back, the expression on your face, the space around you, the sounds you can hear. Gently if your eyes are closed, blinking them open. And taking a few moments just to come back to the present moment before you begin the rest of your day from this beautiful heart of compassion. Thank you. <laughs>